Hello, thank you. I'm Jan Britt, and I'm very happy to be here today. I want to show you how to save money. One way that you can have beautiful window treatments in a really quick way of doing it is with no sewing window treatments. Custom made are the most ideal, but no sewing can be done really quickly. And this is just an example right here, but I want to show you how I did that. You take your fabric, this is approximately five yards of fabric. You take it and you put a pin right here into the center of the fabric so that you know where the middle is. Open up your fabric, and as you can see right here, I have a totally different style of fabric than I have up here. This is a floral, and of course, this is more whimsical and very up to date. And it depends on the house that you have, the color palette that you have, and the look that you're trying to achieve with your fabric is going to make a mood change according to the colors that you use. I'm fan folding this. I have a pen on both sides, and of course, at the end, of the window treatment demonstration, you'll see that I take the pin out. You don't leave those pins in, they're little markers is all they are. Back and forth, fan folding just like this. Then you go like this one time, you always cover the white, you never ever cut the white off. Pull it all the way back here, and I'm ready to mount it. I'm going to place this on top of swag holders. Swag holders are wonderful dual purpose things that you can use and then after I finish doing with the swag holder section I'm going to do it with some special rings so that you can see a knot effect on there which is um, a little bit more uh, creative. Right on top make sure please that you put these pins right here in the center because what this will do is keep it even. Hold on to the very top and pull it down. You see how the pleats are going to come in to take place right there. Here's your pen, make sure it's in the center. Sorry about my back. Right in here, you can make as many pleats as you want to as they come right along the side. You want to have approximately at least a 16 to 18 inch drop, which means from the very top here all the way down to the middle section right here. Now, I want you to see this. You take a push pen you take this and you put this in backwards so that it'll give the illusion that this is on a board. That this is not, if you don't do that, this is going to wind up shrinking down. So you go right back here, right this. Put it just like this. You see the little picker right there? Then you turn it around. This goes right into the drywall and this will give the illusion that this is right on a board, just like that, going absolutely straight. If you don't do that, it will fall down and the swag won't look as professional going just like this. You want to have at least five, a minimum of five pleats per swag in order to have the look of a professional window treatment. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the very bottom. If you do choose to have it go all the way down to the floor, all you have to do is take your fingers and do a fan fold just like this. Turn the white on the inside because the white is not attractive all the way down according to the length that you'd like to have put the rubber band on and please don't forget after you put the rubber band on you're so happy with the length of what you see then what you do is you take an electrical tie or twisty ties and you put this right on top of the rubber band because i promise you that the rubber band will fall it will break and it'll happen right when your company comes so you want to make sure that you do it properly the first time just like this and then turn it under, right like this. It just shoves right inside there. And you get the length that you'd like to have just like that. Now, there's another look I'd like for you to see too. This is called the single-sided jabot. Okay, I'm gonna move this just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Of course, you normally want to see your swag and it, your swag is beautiful it has to be perfect if the swag isn't perfect the whole window treatment looks terrible even if you have perfected your sides perfect it doesn't matter it has to look great so we're going to take this rubber band in a minute but the first thing i'm going to do is take this watch me now we're going to make a self-lined cascade or jabot Take the very end of this, lift it all the way up, just like this, get to the very, very end right here, 
and now lift it as high as you can make it lift and connect it. Watch this. Turn this around, put it right on top, and then we're going to make a fake seam going all the way down. Do you see what I've done? Where I've taken and self-lined the whole back part, and take this part right here, turn it down about one inch, and I've got all the calculations for you. I have two DVDs out on how to make no sewing window treatments. They're fantastic for a quick, beautiful job, or if you're going to move, staging your house, you can't beat this stuff for adding color to your wall for no sewing window treatments. They're wonderful. Because that way you can make your house look great and have that wow factor back when you had to change the red wall to a neutral color wall. What I'm doing now is I'm putting the straight pins right in here, producing a fake seam. Right here, I'll bring this up to here. We do one more and then I'm gonna take these out. And I'm gonna show you what this is gonna look like. There we are, turning this in, coming down just like this. coming down just like that. And you see, we have a cascade. It's so pretty, it's so easy, it's so inexpensive. And the good part is, you have not cut one bit of fabric. If you decide in the future that you would like to take this material and have a custom sewn later, you got it. You have no repeat problem whatsoever, and it works out great. Now I'm gonna take these pins out, and I'm going to show you another ending that the front part, now I want to tell you, your swag's got to look pretty. This one is not attractive, but it's been moved around. It's not pretty, so I want yours to be the star of the show. I'm telling you, that part's got to be beautiful because everybody's going to see that part. Now, I'm going to take the rubber band again, take it just like this, back and forth, go all the way to the very bottom part and flip this thing up. See like that? Flip it up. It's about 20 inches. Now. For, this is perfect in so many rooms. You're going to love this one. Open it up just like this. Now watch. I'm sorry, got to get in your way. Just like this and lift it up. And look at the cute little look. What you're going to do is take a push pin. The first thing that you do is you find it where you want it. You take a push pin and you put the rubber band that's right there, right on that push pin, stand back. Take a look and see if you're happy with it. If you are, then go ahead and put a nail on an angle into the wall to hold it in place. However, if you say, nah, I want a little longer, or I want a little shorter, then you come back and adjust where the rubber band is. And don't forget, please, to put an electrical tie or a bunch of twisty ties together to perform the duty of one long piece and then twist it on. Because nobody's ever going to see it anyway. Don't use raw wire. If you do the wire on it, it'll turn black after time. Anyway, this is a really um, a cute little thing. Nice little place for your room. The next thing I want you to see is the waterfall. We're going to take these holders off. Every single color that you have on your window reflects your personality. It's really important to have the colors that make you feel good in your house. This one right here is festive. Can you see that? It's like they're going to have fun in this room. These are the brackets that I'm going to use to put on here. These brackets are wonderful because they're sturdy. They will hold it nicely into shape. And we're going to get a totally different look at the very top part, especially if you have multiple windows. You need to have something that's going to help to hold it together nicely. You know, when you put window treatments on your window, what you're doing is you're finishing off your room. You're making your room look more complete. You're doing something special for your family. You're doing something special for yourself. You know what, we all need that nowadays too. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do again is I'm going to take the middle part of the material. I'm gonna fan fold it in a different way this time. Now this is not the easy way. Take, of course, make sure the white part on the edges doesn't show. Then you go like this and turn it under so you have a pretty edge, and then you take your fingers like this. 
but it gives you many, many different kinds of pleats. It just looks really good. I'm going to step down here and turn this down one more time. You can do this on a bed. You can do it on a table. You can do it all different places. Right on top, turn it and turn it, and then you can bring it all the way back up. Make sure those pins are lined up. Otherwise, it's going to be harder when you get on top. Now, if you don't hold on to the top part, when you just pull it down like this, it just comes down and, and it doesn't come out as nicely with all of the pleats as it should. Do you see how many more pleats I have? It's because of the way that I fan folded it. Okay, now, we gotta make this look a little bit better than what it does. Don't forget you need to put your little push pins at the very top to hold it in place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this section right here, I'm going to turn it backwards. You turn it all the way around so it doesn't show the proper way, and then you lift it all the way up to the very top, over the top of the rings, and you cascade it all the way down. What this does, this is called the waterfall. Now this is absolutely gorgeous if you're going to have this come all the way down to the ground and have either a hem on it or do the turn under on it. You can even, if you choose to, you can do the single sided jabot. But you have to have enough fabric to do every one of these techniques or they won't work. In my DVD I have all of the different measurements for you. But you see even like this, if it's coming all the way down to the floor, it's attractive. Isn't that pretty? The very top part and so easy to do. So this is one way to do it. Of course you're going to do the other side too. Now, I'm going to turn this this way and I'm going to show you another technique that is called the faux knot. It's where you take it and it's like a lot of fabric right there. Insert it right inside at the very top. Replace it back on there. And have enough fabric that you can put all four fingers inside. Then you pull all the fabric, it's 54 inches inside of here, all the way through. And see this right here? This is not attractive on the bottom. You hide that thing. Right here. Just like that. And then we're going to make these little pleats right in here for the faux knot look. It has a totally different look than you see any place else. See how different that is? That's good. Now watch this. We come right over here, make sure your swag is pretty, and of course you take your choice of whichever ending that you'd like to have on the very bottom. I don't have time to show you all the different endings that I do have, but it looks good. Now I want to show you something else. I'm going to do what's called a flounce instead of the knot, just so you can see one more technique that I've got. It takes approximately 18 inches extra to do the faux knot, and it takes approximately 27 inches extra to be able to do the flounce. It also takes approximately, <laughs> depending upon the fabric, how thick it is, and how large that you like to make things. It also takes about 18 inches extra to do the swag. Let me see if I can get that. Now, you see how you can turn this? Let's pull that this way. Pull this part up right in here, and you can have a totally different look. You can make this longer if you choose to make it longer or make it shorter, whichever you prefer to do. Right here, you have this extra fabric, and you can insert this, right? You can hide this stuff, and it's best not to cut it if you have a choice not to because it'll help you to be able to um, use it later on if you decide to do a different window treatment. 
There we go. See a really fluffy, fluffy valence right at the very top part for something totally different. And of course you're going to do the exact same thing on one side as you do on the other side too. I want to thank you very much for coming. I wish I could show you more. My name is Jan Britt and I'd love to be able to help you. I have DVDs available if you'd like to have them. Thank you.